Our expedition leader, Derek Kirstia, offers guests a unique experience touring the actual ship's operation behind the scenes. This is rare. The ship's research is often secretive and the technology employed quite unique. One area that's completely unique is the ballast flotation system, which delivers incredible balance as the ship moves through the ocean. There's very little rocking or rolling, and this is critical to the highly sensitive scientific measuring equipment that has to be kept as stable as possible to gain accurate measurement of seismic activity on the ocean floor and deliver its deep water communications to its sister ship, which is often on the other side of the world. The rudders are mechanically tied to each other by this big piston. So essentially rudder there and a rudder there. And we're literally as low on the ship as we can possibly get. Just looking around, it's all like totally antiquated. And the beauty of it is, I guess, as long as everything is analog, it can all be fixed at sea. There can be no failure of any system. So this is the control room. And uh, essentially what you see here is a near uh, exact replication of what's to be found on the bridge. In some cases, it's simplified, but for the most part, you could operate the ship from down here. This is the uh, chart room, and this is kind of like the nerve center where a lot of decisions are made by the captain and by the expedition leader. A lot of that will be uh, devised uh, based on this. This is called a grib file. And so we receive these about uh, three times daily. Blue and green are my favorite colors and uh, red, purple, and orange are my least favorite colors. So go down on the bridge. So, and you'll notice currently no one's behind the wheel here. That's because the ship's in autopilot. This is the helm of the ship. These are the throttles of the ship. And remember, we're just controlling the pitch of the prop. The rotation of the props never change. The instrument just uh, dead center in front is the AIS. So each ship is transmitting an MMSI number, and it's a distinct, unique identifier. And so we can see all ships within a certain range, but it's for emergencies. Bam, hit that, you're automatically transmitting a mayday distress signal. And that, my friends, is the conclusion of your ship tour. <laughs>